Rollover directional derivative in the directional derivative phi equal to a x square y by y square z c z square x at 1 1 1 has maximum magnitude 15 in the direction parallel to the line then find the value of abc so first uh, finding the constant of abc first uh, write down the some basic informations note that so magnitude of maximum directional derivative of phi is denoted by this magnitude of nebula phi nebula phi at a point x1 y1 z1 with the magnitude alpha is parallel to the vector a then nebula phi divided by magnitude of nebula phi equal to vector a uh, divided by magnitude of vector a of given point so if the equation of line suppose here x minus x1 upon a y minus y1 upon b z minus z1 upon c where then vector a is equal to ai b c z where <coughs> ai j ai plus b j plus c c k that is a c k where so where a b c the direction ratio so now nebula phi is equal to here put the value of nebula i del del x j del del k del del z and phi x square y b y square z plus c z square x so par i here into in parcel derivative of phi with respect to x all terms so here 2x we get here 2x y and into is a plus here second term is here totally y so it will be 0 only here that term so we get cz square similarly we get second term and third terms so nebula phi at point 1 1 so 1 1 put x1 2 a plus c c j a plus 2 b and k b plus 2 c this is equation number 1 So magnitude of nebula phi at point one one is here. The sum of its sum of square of coefficient of i j k. So here two a plus c whole square. Next a plus two b a plus two b whole square and here b plus two c whole square, which is the magnitude of maximum directional derivative of phi. Now equation of line is here x minus x one upon a y minus y one upon b see then vector a is equal to vector a is here a a a i a into i plus b j c k so now for given line x minus x x minus 1 upon 2 y minus 3 upon minus 2 z minus 0 upon 1 so now i'm comparing here and here so we get a equal to 2 b equal to minus 2 and c equal to 1 so now vector is equal to 2i minus 2j plus k of the equation number so equation which is equation number 2 so since nebula phi at point 1 1 with the magni magnitude of maximum 15 is parallel to vector a then here it means here this is nebula phi magnitude of nebula phi is given 15 so nebula phi at point 1 1 divided magnitude of nebula phi equal to vector a upon magnitude of vector a and then put using 1 and 2 equation 1 and 2 so it put the value of nebula phi to a plus ci a plus 2bj plus b plus 2ck and magnitude of nebula phi is 15 already given in problems now we are vectors 2i minus 2j plus k and sum of the square of coefficient of i j k 2 plus minus 2 whole square plus 1. So now here multiply this is 15 cross numerator and multiply here 15 15 and is 4 plus 4 plus 1 9 this square root is 3. Now equating the coefficient of i j k from both sides in above equations. So here 3 5 job 15 5 2 is 10. 
means i coefficient to a plus c and right hand left hand side right hand side is 10 similar to a, a plus 2b here and here 5 to the minus 10 so here minus minus 10 a plus 2b and b plus 2c equal to 5 so in equation 4 5 6 now solving equation 4 5 6 and we get this a equal to 20 20 upon 9 b equal to minus 50 upon 9 50 minus 55 upon 9 and c equal to 50 by 9 so which is required value abc thank you